Welcome back to another vlog, my plenty friends. This is me of Miss Plantaholic. And if you're new here to my channel, thanks for stopping by where I talk about my plant collections, nursery trips, care tips, and other plenty things. In today's vlog, I'll be sharing with you an online purchase that I did two weeks ago from a store online shop called Equagenera. And I'll be sharing with you two of the wish list plants that I got on my first order. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the very first plant that I'll be sharing with you is one of my wish list plants, aside from my Pink Princess, which I already got a couple of months ago. And this one is, let me show you, I already put it in a pot. And this is what it is. Dun, da, da, da. So this is my Anthurium crystallinum. Look at how huge the leaf is. So this one has four leaves when I received it. And this one has a very velvety feel to it. And look at the size of it. It's bigger than my hand. So this one has velvety-like feel to the leaves. And the venation right there, if you can see it, has that silvery sheen to it. It's very pretty. And I am so happy when I opened the box because it is in perfect condition. There's no damages during the transport. It came with four leaves. This is the biggest one. And then this is like the second largest one right here. And I have two smaller ones, one right here and another one here. And I have seen a new growth point on this one. Let me take it out from the pot. I don't know if you can see that one. Do you see that? pointed little thing there that's a new growth point right there so i have read that crystallinums are slow growers just like the pink princesses so i'll be eager to know your care tips on how you care for this if you own one please let me know on the comment section down below i would really appreciate it so that's my anthurium crystallinum Okay, let's put this aside. Now, the second one that I'll be showing you is another wish list plant. And at that time, I, I was looking into getting the um, philodendron Milano, Milano Chrysum, but that one's out of stock. So I chose this one because I love the ripple edges and the shape of the leaves and are you excited to meet her so let me grab her Dun, da, da, da. look at this gorgeous beauty this is the philodendron mame or mommy so this one right here is in a four inch pot just like my crystallinum this is the baby leaf right here look at that gorgeous venation and it has some specks on it so you can see those white specks isn't that gorgeous this other leaf right here is the mature one this one has a very light feel it's not as thick as the crystallinum but it has those ripples very pretty and i don't know what happened to this stem right here it came like this so i don't want to cut it so i'm hoping it will give me some new growth let me take it out of the pot and let me show you i discovered another growth point right here see that one so that is a potential growth right there 
Oof. Right there. Isn't she gorgeous? So that's the small leaf. This one's the bigger one. Right there. Aren't they pretty? So the pots, I have to buy them separately. If you remember my Blossoms video, this is the pot that I got from them. I would say this is about 6 inch. And I only got this for $9.50 for the pot. I'll put it here. Now this other pot right here, I got this from Alden Lane Nursery. And I haven't even posted my blog on that one. Isn't it cute? It's just heavy. I don't know if it's terracotta. Feels like it's a cement or something. So there are my gorgeous beauties. So which among my um, rare plants did you like the most? Please let me know on the comment section down below. As for me, they're all my favorites. You know me. I have to be fair to all my plant babies. Welcome to another vlog, my planty friends. This is me of Miss Plantaholic, and I hope you're all staying safe and doing well. I have some exciting news to share with you today. I came home from work, and there's a box waiting in the front porch. So let's get right into it and open up the box guys i just got this box from my front porch and i'm in the garage right now i don't want to make a mess in my living room so i'm just gonna go ahead and open up the box from here and then i'll bring out the plant and i'll open it up in my living room so let's go okay you guys i'm back in my living room area and are you excited to see what's inside the box so if you're excited, I'm excited as well. So let's get right into it. So the very first plant, just to give you a heads up, is one of my wish list plant. And I have seen this in some of the plant shops that say that sells rare plants. And I just don't want to bite the bullet and buy it for the price they're selling it. But this particular one, I got it for a fraction of the cost. And I'm glad that I was able to find this online and just um, without further ado, let me show it to you. And I have already removed this from the craft paper as I mentioned earlier. So here it is. Da -da -da -da. This is my Anturium forgetii, white stripes. So I absolutely love this one. It has a suede-like feel on the foliage. And the shape kind of reminds me of a turtle back. Look at that. It's so cute. It's rounded over here and pointed at the tip. This one has three leaves. Very healthy looking leaves. And let me show you the front of the leaves. Let me do a close-up right here. And the back looks like this. So this is the baby. This looks like this is the, the brand new leaf that it has put out. It's smaller compared to the other two. This one is the largest on the middle. Then the second largest one is the one on the top, which I showed you earlier. So this one is bigger than my Anturium Crystallinum, which I just ordered a week ago or so. So for comparison, let me show it to you side by side. So this is my Crystallinum, and this is my Forget the Eye. So you have an idea of the size so crystallinum is bigger and it's more has like a heart shape on the top and the forget the eye has a round shape this one's really huge bigger than my face so 
isn't there isn't that uh, gorgeous so the crystallinum is more thicker this one's also thick but i think this one has more velvety feel while this one feels like more suede like material so this is my crystallinum Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I am amazed at how well they ship. They, um, I am amazed at how they pack the plant. This one has an aerial root right here, if you can see that one. And it seems like it's going to have a new growth right here. There's a new growth point right there. So I'm excited you guys so if you ever own this one or you're collecting anthuriums please let me know how you cared for your anthurium I want to, I want to be able to take care of this and hopefully it will thrive in its new home okay now the second one that I'll be showing you is my ta -da! This is called a philodendron oxapa pensi or oxapa pens AFF number one. Such a long name. I don't know what the AFF means, but this is a close up of the label. This is in a four inch pot. It seems like the substrate is kind of like a mixture of potting soil, sphagnum moss, and some perlite. And look at how adorable the shape of the leaves are. I've never had any plants with an elongated leaf. This is kind of like a butterfly, kind of like a syngonium, but it has longer, um, longer leaves. I would say the largest leaf is about 12 inches or so and this poor little baby broke its stem on the way to my to my home I have to put a little tape behind it like a splint to keep it upright look at how gorgeous the venation of this one this one reminds me of um caladendron mame look at those ridges on the leaves this one has have a very thin leaf but it has those ridges it has four leaves total this is the second largest one this is the the the, the second to the smallest one and this is a baby one right there. So pretty. Aww. So this is how it compares to my face. And this is a climbing philodendron. So eventually I would have to put a moss pole or a stick so it can um, climb through it. And this one has a new growth right here. Another one. Before I end this vlog, I wanted to do a shout out to one of my best friends in Manila, Philippines. Hi, Lala. Thanks for always watching my vlogs. And please give my hugs and kisses to my two handsome ina anaks, Sean and Kevin. Can't wait to see you guys once COVID is over. Um, hope you're all staying safe and well in the Philippines. We'll be checking out here in another IKEA location if I have if we can find the greenhouse cabinet that I'm looking for so let's go guys we're inside IKEA right now 
it's a Thursday so there's no crowd right now which is perfect Look at this you guys, look at those macrame hangers, they're so cute. We have a couple of like baskets here, I kind of like this one. So the plant pot, it says it's $2.99. We have a seagrass basket. Doesn't say how much. This is a plant stand. What do you think about this, you guys, for a greenhouse cabinet? It looks retro. So let's hunt for the greenhouse cabinet. There's a lot of plants everywhere. You see, these are like artificial plants, by the way, you guys. Look at this, honey. This plant pot is four ninety nine, you guys. Not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those pots, $4.99, you guys. And they have this hanging plant pot. Looks like it's $9.99. This is cute. This is a terracotta pot. So all the plants that you see here are artificial. So let's find the let's go look for the greenhouse cabinet okay, you guys there's a lot of uh, macrame hangers this one's cute it's $14.99 and I think this one can accommodate at least like an 8 inch pot and then I have another one right here $6.99 not bad I think that's the pot this one is an artificial potted pot so cute you guys if you have a small space, then you can get ideas from Ikea. I love this kitchen. guys these are their cabinets not this one but it's yellow what do you think about this you guys this one is called fabricor and this one is 169 
This one's the taller version. It's the same price. But it's the taller one. I can't find the mills though over here. Did you find the other one? Okay, you guys, I don't see the Millsville cabinet that I wanted for my prayer plants. I'm gonna have to check downstairs and find out. Look at that one. Look at this, so cute. Look at this, you guys. Look at this one. Look at this little greenhouse. They have this greenhouse for $19.99. Look at this, you guys. We got this tiny greenhouse for $19.99. This one's cute. A planter box. Okay, you guys, they're out of stock over here. They said they're gonna have it by next week. So I guess I just have to keep on checking. This one's ten ninety nine. You can use it as a plant hanger. This one's so cute. Okay, let's look at the pots and plant section. This one's cute. Look at this one. Look at this huge lamp. Okay, let's look at the pots and plant section. Oh, yay! Got one of these, you guys. This is four ninety nine, I think. I'll get two. I'm gonna get two of these, you guys.
Okay, you guys, let's keep going. Look at that. Yeah, Aquarian, yeah. This is what we should have sa garahi. guys they got some baskets these are 9.99 looks like that they have this kind What are you going to use it? We're going to get some pegboard for the greenhouse, even though I don't have the cabinet yet. one we're gonna need this one this one we're gonna need some hook We got some plant pot for three ninety nine. These are terracottas. Let's look at the live plants. Let's look at the pots first. I like this one. These are $5.99 for an 8 inch pot. Okay, you guys, I want some pots. This one's cute. So this one is $5.99. This one looks like it's $5.99 too. I think I'm gonna get one of these.
gonna get this one you guys very lightweight this one's $5.99 This is Ayuka for $19.99. And then we have those things. Time to pay, my friends. $19.99. 